first off, folks, awesome image just today at Nehemiah web webcam, okay? And basically, I'll move down. I should be able to move down. Hang on. Okay, I'm going to try to hook up Nehemiah by the end of the flick, folks. So I went ahead and popped Fireball up. And basically, you can see four stars right now, daytime, actually five. If you can see this clear enough, there's actually more than that. There's another one. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stars showing through the clouds, and eight, I see another one up over here, through the clouds during the daylight hours right now at Huntsville. Okay, that's out east. I think that's either Huntsville, uh, Alabama, Huntsville, Georgia. It's out east. I uh, apologize to any state that if it's not the right one. So you can go ahead and go to Fireball and read their stuff. And let me give you the astronomical chart real fast. I can blink on that. And then you, I'll just scroll through this real slow. And you'll get a live astronomical map of that's all the planets up there that you can see daylight hour right now, currently in your sky in North America. Okay, and also watch my video before this one because there's a lot of ton of information in there. Now I sh opened this video up with the uh, Nehemiah station with an object that I blew up a thousand. So Venus and the crescent moon, and I noticed it the other night, and it's pretty impressive because the idea that there's awesome looks up by the moon in the night. Venus is lining up in a row, western sky, beautiful sunset conjunction, and then you got to watch out for these CMEs. So uh, power is going to be down. So if you're living in a cold area on December 28th, they are figuring at somewhere around 20, 22 UTC. So that's minus seven hours, I believe, for U US. So the idea that at 2,000 hours, which is basically, if I remember right, there's 2,300 hours, 23, uh, so 5, 9, so 3 hours off of that, does that's midnight, that's 1 a.m., midnight, so then that's, so 8.22 Eastern time on the 28th, because plus or minus 7 hours, and you could even take seven hours ahead of that. So in the evening, folks. So 8.22 in the evening minus eight hours. So it could be here as early as uh, one o'clock in the afternoon, 1,300 hours on the 28th. So anywhere from the 1,300 hour on through to the 29th of uh Eight hours on the eight sixteen, so uh, any time between two or three in the morning on the 29th, uh, Eastern time, Central time, Mountain time, Western time, whatever, because you got plus or minus seven hours. This stuff's going to hit the Earth, and ba CME is basically a gigantic uh, blast. And the idea that watch my last video and you see even bigger blasts than that, and get you an idea of how big that blasts are out on Earth. I mean out in space and basically I and there's what I basically saw the other night and then there's a picture if you go to spaceweather.com and it should be uh, that's his name it should be it more images from him and there's other images to go check out spaceweather.com so they're getting good shots of very good shots of the moon and Venus okay Robert Arn sent that one there that you're seeing below there. Okay. So it looks pretty impressive at nighttime. And this is my last video, folks. So go ahead and check this one out. Put that on there. And basically, we will find out what's going on on being brushed back and put in the corners because that there beginning there is one of the biggest YouTube videos going on right now. Six million hits. So the idea is six million hits. And somebody enters in, someone's got to accidentally end up showing up at. Our videos my video there okay so and basically create a license so always let me know or make sure you put my name on anything that you but go ahead and blast me out there as much as you can just make sure you put my name on there put Vino black on there ladies and gentlemen okay so watch this video and you want to thank the British for the next shot because the idea that we also displayed in the last video that uh, 
what wasn't being shown and, and, and let me show you what's going on here. Now we're at Haley's research station and what we're going to do is we're going to watch this dark cloud mass down here. And basically clouds move ladies and gentlemen, but watch this. As we go from, what I'll show you real fast is a 2100 hour and moving out and you're going to see it stay dark there. All these clouds will move and yes we have an aurora, okay. They get the the pink aurora, and basically it comes from the, their even their heading thing. They put this. They even show the pinkish mauve aurora, pinkish purple mauve aurora that they get on their header up there. Okay, we love the footage that the Antarctic station gave this one. Also the German near Meyer station down there, and all the other ones, Casey station, and so forth and so on. So watch this dark area because these all these clouds will move, but you're going to end up keep getting that dark area. So IE watch, you're going to keep having this dark area. These clouds are going to move, and you're going to keep keeping that dark area there. Should be able to flash through these and keep coming up in that dark area there. And I'm going to go and show you a time here. Basically, we're on the 500 hour. Now we're going to keep going, and that dark area is going to stay there. It's not going to move, okay? IE, I think this is the 6 hour. IE, the 7th hour. The darkness stays there. Now watch that darkness stay there, okay? 8th hour, okay? Now this is AM folks, okay? So the sun is up, okay? And the idea that I also believe that I'll get you back to being able to show you the object come up that we know that is the Rigel Cantares or Proximity. I had to re the web page because you gotta pop into each one of these times and stuff like that. So I'll have I'll pop it through here. We're gonna have our image, more than likely Rigel Cantares B or Proximity Centauri and Rigel Cantares A, or just super giant action, no matter what, okay? And that's what those other pictures of the last video also were. Basically, it's super giant sunlight is what all that stuff is up there, okay? Now watch. The darkness, now, it's going to be gone, okay? There it is, and it doesn't block the blotch. The blotch is not in front of it, okay, in that shot. And then the idea that I'm not going to zoom in anymore because I'll keep on showing you the time, and I'll keep plopping through these, and you're going to keep seeing this dark area stay down there. That cloud is not going to move away, okay? Well, we're starting to want to know what part of the asteroid belt or what asteroid belt is it or aurora action because we are just getting that darkness down here for all these are hours, folks. Every one of these shots is a whole hour, okay? And that dark area stays there, does not move like the rest of the clouds, okay? And I apologize for flopping through the crappy pictures. Now, the aurora is still up there, but is this part of the aurora in the past history or is this new in a black the, uh, I've been waiting to say this, the shadow knows. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so this dark patch stays there. And it's, so it's now it's more and more, th and it shapes a little different every once in a while certain, during a certain hour and stuff like that. But this is beginning to look more and more that we've got maybe a closer planet to the South Pole axis at the Antarctica or what with time. Now we know that they get 23, 24 hours of time and yeah, there's going to be a, a little blotch of darkness somewhere. But I've never seen anybody record it and take pictures of it and go, hey, this is a dark watch that you get down there because they get 23, 24 hours of sunlight all the time, okay? And then the last couple hours kind of blanks out and I don't get a shot. But you can see that the idea, I'm going to go, I'm going backwards now through the hours. But you just keep on watching as the photos pop up, you'll see that that dark blotch stays there, okay? The clouds don't move. And I know it's kind of crappy and it's going to go like, what the hell, he's flopping through shit, but I just got to try to show, I don't want to load a shitload of pictures in, okay? So you just keep seeing that darkness hour by hour by hour, okay? Because as you can see, there's your hour again, and we're going to the fifth hour, and it's going to be there, fourth hour, and I'm not playing with the clock, folks. It's always there, okay? So very interesting. So now we've got more action up there by the sun. So check out all the Soho action. As you see, there's all kinds of Vs. Blow up the pictures and get all kinds of, and there's a CME. And the idea that that's more than likely something right next to the sun. It's probably that object that we've always seen to the right. That it would pay attention to when I've showed you the x-ray shot where they have that big blotch. So humongous objects, folks. You have to remember the size of this stuff, okay? Every one of these blotches of, of like something like this and this is bigger than the Earth itself, ourselves, okay? So... All kinds of V action going on. V action here. We've got another V over up here, I think, to the... There's another V. Okay? That's not a comet. Okay? And uh, more than likely, V action will end up coming out of these triangulations here. And yes, these planets are hella far away from each other, but they put energy off to each other. Okay? And there's probably another one of our... In some of these 
can be zoomed in on and I've showed you in my past videos watch my last half dozen videos or last dozen videos and you'll see the curly light between planets okay through their magnet mag, mag, magnetic magneticism magneticism to each other okay so check out everything folks and it's still the 27th folks and I'll sh there you go the clock and the time down that's central time down there usually always from me and there's your current and then the idea that Venus will give you the information on Venus that the idea that there is where Venus at on your map currently with Earth and Mars and so forth and such such and it has no moons okay so I just thought I'd make sure you guys let it know that and the mass of it is like uh, it's just a little smaller than the Sun folks because a mass is one Sun size okay radius and so forth and so on so and uh, it, it's, it's equilateral radius is mileage and there you go with the idea how far it is currently away from and that is Venus okay currently away from the Earth okay so once again there's your map Venus and Mars and so forth and so on and I'll give you the sketchy shots in here and we'll blow these up because you can see Lovejoy is still there it's got its head in this shot and you see all the current time and everything like that I'll blow it up 400% take a look over by earth real fast because that's what we're interested in and and like I say CMEs are going through so some of the stuff but the idea of these objects are actually there so when you see the CMEs brighten stuff stuff up it's like turning the headlights on folks and you get to see where stuff's at now we still know that this here is there okay and we know it's not M22 okay so and there is and it's moving away from the Sun so we know that the well is back over this way so the idea that more than likely Jupiter is should be up here somewhere not being seen in this shot and I think we'll get it on another one of the shots so I'm gonna hurry up and sneak in the rest of the shots so we can blow up in each one of the shots so more than likely that's the well over here directly away and this Mars is over there by the well so the massive distance that we end up seeing in these shots folks and I'll show the other ones but check this out the darkness around this star and also we have a grouping around I was seeing a circular that we've seen this here circular here is something like what we've seen up by the Sun a lot okay these circulars of these star circulars okay and I think there's even a circular here somewhere and stuff like and also a circling over here and you got Jupiter and Mercury and that is the Sun and the supergiants blasting over there folks beating the hell out of each other and I'm not trying to get anybody scared about a black hole but there is darkness there okay and maybe we have Nibiru who knows okay because that is this here recent shot so I'm gonna go in and just zoom up and we'll end up knowing figuring out what the, it, that is by looking at star everybody can look it up on telescope try to figure out what the hell it is okay and there you go folks we're at a thousand and there you go there's a bl little black planet right there and that's not little bo folks that's humongous okay and there's Jupiter and the idea that all the moons of Jupiter are getting glowed up too by these CMEs and, and, the, and just the glow of Jupiter the Jupiter's getting from the Sun and the CMEs and let me go down and get you the clocks of the idea that you know that we're still there at the same shot same picture I'll move back over here real fast and plop up and you'll get a good idea look at that that is very interesting folks very interesting so try to figure out in triangulation what we're looking at today another big find here folks so to keep on looking at all the eight shots so I'll try to fit the other ones in real fast and there's other black dark objects out there in space too it's like a look that I panned over to the right so I'll pan to the left real fast so it's, you need to blow these things up and look at them. And I'm starting to see a lot more black clusters out there folks so we might have super giant material or other material moving around in space to us close folks so check that out that's no ink blotches folks that's actual stuff in space and color so s light is getting darkened there that is a black hole or something so very interesting here folks because basically okay we know that the darkness in space that we get more than likely anything back over this way is towards Jupiter I mean yes towards Jupiter and we know that Lovejoy is going that direction okay going to deep dark space and the idea that we've seen that massive object that I've showed you and the idea of the meatball and everything else but look at this at that dark object whole space is up over there by Mars too we can blow up in on this shot and Uranus Neptune and everything else like that is all over here in this dark area to our dark side of Earth folks so no, no matter where Earth is out here somewhere in this shot this is our dark side folks okay this is the dark side as you see that humongous planet ends up making that darkness and the idea there's the Sun and the, and the supergiants glow get cut off by the, whatever these gigantic o objects are behind us in the dark same shot here with Lovejoy folks we'll go up and we'll see that dark spot again and then I'll zoom into a thousand on it okay where the heck did it go here let me find it so there it is folks over by Mars and if I zoom in on it it's just gonna get darker and you're gonna still see that X there and everything like that so there's a new object to look at on the uh, up by Mars 
Remember, folks, the Chinese put their space lab up there. There's the other H12B. Remember, Curiosity's going up to Mars, too. More video.